Hello and welcome to this video demonstration of how to correctly fit the 3M 6000 series reusable full face mask. George will now demonstrate how to fit the 6800 medium mask. The procedure also covers the 6700 small and 6900 large models. Prior to fitting your mask, make sure that your face is clean shaven. These masks should not be worn with facial hair under the area of the face seal. Make sure that long hair is tied back and jewellery is removed so that it does not interfere with the seal to the face. To begin, remove the mask from its box and bag and inspect the mask and its components for damage prior to each use. Prior to fitting the respirator to your face, you should fit appropriate filters. Firstly, we demonstrate the fitting of gas and vapour filters or combination filters. Before fitting, check that the filters are within the use-by date and that the orange gaskets are in place on the mask. Align the lines on the inside of the filter to the smaller lug on the mask and secure in place with a quarter turn clockwise. You should fill the filters lock into place. 2000 series particulate filters are also fitted onto the respirator with a quarter turn clockwise. Again, you should fill the filters lock into place. To fit encapsulated 6035 and 6038 series particulate filters, align the line on the inside of the filter to the smaller lug on the mask and secure in place with a quarter turn clockwise. Remember to always replace filters as a pair. The method of fitting the mask to the face is the same regardless of which filters have been fitted until you reach the fit check. To fit, fully loosen all four head straps and place the harness at the back of your head and position the face piece over your face. Progressively tighten the harness, starting by pulling the lower straps, then the upper straps. It should feel snug against your face, but take care not to over tighten. Strap tension can be decreased by pushing out on the back of the buckles. The seal of the mask on the face should be fit checked before entering the workplace. If gas and vapor filters or combination filters have been fitted, a positive pressure fit check is performed by placing the palm of your hand over the exhalation valve cover, being careful not to disturb the fit of the mask. You should then exhale gently. If the face piece bulges slightly and no air leaks are detected between the face and the face piece, a proper seal has been obtained. If it does not and you detect air leaks at the seal, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the tension adjustment of the straps, then repeat the fit check. If 6035, 6038 or 2000 series particulate filters have been fitted, a negative pressure fit check should be performed. For 6035 or 6038 particulate filters, press the filter cover and filter body together between your thumb and fingers. Take special care to squeeze the filter in the middle. For 2000 series particulate filters, press your thumbs into the central indentation of the filters. In both instances, this seals the filter and restricts airflow. Whilst continuing to seal the filters, inhale gently and hold your breath for 5 to 10 seconds. You should feel the face piece collapse slightly. If it does not, and you detect air leaks at the seal, adjust the fit, taking extra care with the tension adjustment of the straps, then repeat the fit check. If you cannot achieve a proper fit, inform your supervisor and do not enter the hazardous area. The respirator should be cleaned at the end of each shift, dried at room temperature and stored in the original packaging or a sealed container. The performance of your respirator relies on an adequate seal between the respirator and your face to ensure contaminated air does not leak in. The method of measuring whether or not you have an adequate seal is to pass a quantitative fit test. Fit testing should not be confused with a pre-use fit check which should be conducted every time you use your respirator. For more information on fit testing, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash fit test respirator. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demonstration video. For further information, please visit www.3m.co.uk forward slash safety or call our UK and Ireland helpline numbers.